Bream Mood. A small town is terrorized by a killer who seems to have a preference for stalking young girls, teenage girls, and calling them when they're alone. We meet Sydney Prescott, who had something happen to her mother a while earlier. Her best friend Tatum, the best friend's boyfriend, portrayed quite well by Matthew Lillard. He's a bit of a spaz. This is one of the only things I've seen Lillard in, but he really does fantastic. He's obnoxious and a lot of fun at the same time. His best friend is Sydney's boyfriend, Skeet Ulrich. Then there's the reporter, Gail Weathers, Courtney Cox, who seems to be willing to do anything to get the story. Who of these is the suspect? Well, as Jamie Kennedy, who acts quite well in this, surprisingly, puts it, Everyone, everyone's a suspect. I'm a suspect here. This is only one of the many cliches that this touches upon, and part of what makes Scream work so well is that it so perfectly hits that balance between being an entry into the slasher genre and a send-up of the slasher genre. It hits on all of the major points, and manages to still actually work as a slasher flick. Wes Craven has quite a knack for tension and suspense, and you can really tell in this one. It also helps that the death scenes tend to be pretty up close and personal, not too extreme, and this was thankfully before torture porn got popular, so you really feel the impact. It's almost like it's you being stabbed, or being punched, or whatever. The setting is quite good, and this also kind of does take a realistic approach to what would happen in this kind of situation without denying us the obligatory moments. There's even a party. The first scene is fantastic, one of the best of the trilogy, possibly the best, and the climax, amazing. The use of music is also quite effective. The acting tends to be quite good for all concerned, and the characters are pretty nicely fleshed out, and, you know, you remember them. And the film just really does work as a proper horror movie. You know, it doesn't take itself too seriously, there are a ton of jump scares, and proper scares, and I've watched it at least half a dozen times, and it still works. I still jump at it. It still really hits the mark, and I can't remember all the scares. There are so many, and without it being, you know, overpowering either. The film is just a lot of fun, and while I haven't watched the fourth one yet, it's definitely the best of the trilogy. They do get progressively worse, but even at the worst, even at its worst, the trilogy is worth watching, at least just barely. And with this one being, you know, the first, it did have the best chance of really working, and its focus is on horror movies in general, especially the slasher genre.